Hi guys, it's time for a new ESL Pro League match breakdown, where I'll show you how the real pros do it. In today's video, I will show you how Playing Ducks set up their defense against Supremacy on the map Coastline and the objective Sunrise Bar and Blue Bar. This is part of a series that I'm doing, so if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe and check my channel for more Pro League breakdowns just like this one. Just as usual, First, I will show you the round just as it happened directly from the live broadcast and after that I will jump into the game and the tactical whiteboard and show you exactly how to set this up and why it works so well. Now, Supremacy winning the site, which usually isn't won. Those double bars are going to be putting themselves in the lead here early on, one round on the board and we are actually going to see Playing Ducks go to the same Bob site. What an interesting twitch twist that both of these two teams like to defend. Double bar. It looks like we might still see this philosophy of closing off the courtyard. A little bit different than uh, the Latin American teams, but it. Oh, look at that. So that actually is good. Oh, I love that. So that's uh, instead of closing off the entire uh, floor, they're gonna close off that just uh, enough so to you the can't north. Get an angle, yeah. But the the little hole there is gonna mean that if the attackers manage to push themselves into blue bar, they're gonna still be able to. Uh, if they're trying to plant behind blue bar, covered from B bob site, they'll still have the line of sight on them. I like that. I uh, like that little spot. Ooh, I also like this. Playing ducks are gonna be playing a mirror window smoke combination. You can see they're pre-opening up these holes on the top of the uh, the wall. That's gonna allow secretly to smoke anywhere in the bomb site without exposing himself too much to the attackers. Love that strategy there. Really turning the A bomb site into a little bit of a deathbed for the attackers as they move themselves in. We'll see how Supremacy choose to address this attack, though. Doesn't seem like they're focusing nearly as much, at least early on, on uh, with those offices. Looks like it might be a top-down take, which is uh, similar, somewhat, to how we saw playing Ducks attack the last, last round. We are seeing Glass get picked a little bit more today than we typically see out of the European scene through the past four weeks. I mean, we saw a Glass Monty earlier on border. We're seeing the Glass here right now. It's typically we're expecting to see Blackbeards, are we not? Yeah, we do typically see Blackbeards, I mean, especially out in North America, but it is stand to reason. I mean, Glaze is still perfectly oh, viable. Oh, looks like a C4 uh -oh. toss by Bibu. Oh, Bibu. no, he's actually underneath. He's above on top of some indestructible floor, I want to say. Oh, it actually hit the bar right there, and that saved him. What an unfortunate toss there by Lackey. Now Supremacy taking this top floor control, nice and slow. Going to be looking for opportunities to put themselves in the main advantage. You can see that Playing Ducks has a very heavy roam game, whether it be on the top floor or the bottom floor. They are far off the site. We are going to see Zephyr try to work his way into the hookah lounge. The smoke grenade is going to go out. That's going to allow him some cover to then progress forward, or at least just spook him out as he gets back down. They only have a minute left to go, and they haven't actually taken much important control here, apart from above the site. And then, given the heavy roam game from playing Ducks, having top-down control isn't important, really. Here we have it. Meepy going to tag one shot oh, on no, the back. Now, unfortunately, that's going to do a lot of damage to him. Secretly, though, gets removed by Zephyr. A five on four here. Bebu's now going to have to force his way forward over to Aqua, and now we're going to see this shot come out from Zephyr as he moves on over towards the side of Hookah. Bebu getting into the, lo the lobby here with the They're going to open up the wall. Lackey is going to be there ready for here some shots is. on the lobby hallway. This is this aggressive office take that we were we saw from playing Ducks last round, but it's being executed in the last 30 seconds. Will it work oh, for Supremacy? This is, this is going to work here for Lackey. They're going to see that it's all closed off. They're going to think it's all clear. He's going to have a nice tight angle onto it. Meepy, however, takes off one. And we're going to have Meepy swing it over, tag another one down. He looks to go for a shot. Finishes off Bebu. Goes for the pistol kill. He does not get it. Rafael's able to remove him. Now a three on three. There's the shot from Lackey. He tags one. He tags two. Last is going to be Zephyr, and he's trying to move in. He knows where the shots are coming from, but he just cannot do it. And it looks like defenders will win round number two. That's going to be 1-1 one, one at the moment. So if we jump into the map and see how this defensive hold was set up. If you first look at the anchors, they had Smoke playing right here, and Mira is not available in the tactical whiteboard from Ubisoft, so she is this recruit icon. Then they had reinforced two walls and one wall here. They have a shield up on the bar counter here, 
and they had of course barbed wire root at the windows at the doors and they had reinforced three walls here not four usually what teams do they open up this whole wall so they can play the blue bar from the courtyard because blue bar is so small so small it's hard to defend so instead you open up this wall and defend it from outside but they reinforced three of them but left one here with a shutdown at the bottom part of the wall just then they have a very good mirror setup here since mirror is not in the whiteboard the her windows is represented by these numbers this was window one and mirror window two so you can keep a good eye on the hallway here and also protect the blue bar very good they also have a rotation hole here so they can go into the room if needed and up here they shut up the top part of the wall with that smoke can throw his smoke canisters onto to the side without exposing himself at all so by doing all of this they switched it around because normally it's hard for the defenders to sit inside the blue bar to protect it now they turn it around so they invited the attackers to come there and then have everything set up to kill them as easily as possible because you have the mirror window you have the hole for through the smokes the rotation hole this hole was very useful because when they pushed in they thought this wall was reinforced, they didn't see the small hole, so he just shot them. He got two kills through that hole in the, in the end of the round. And also, they had a very effective roaming game. You had Pulse, who was starting here at office. Very good spot, because the attackers usually come in here through the aquarium. So, he just gets unlucky that the C4 got stuck right under the bar, so he didn't kill her. Otherwise, he would have killed Ash there. So, that's a good starting position for Pulse. Then you also had Jaeger and Bandit who was playing, they were roaming of course, but they were in the kitchen, in the bathroom. And at the end of the round, where it was like 1.30 something left on the round, Bandit did a good flank. He moved up the stairs. He pushed through here. He also killed uh, Buck, who was still playing up. And then he also did a nice rotation. He came out here and jumped down behind them and shot them and got another kill. You can also tell that Supremacy got caught off guard here with this pick. They didn't expect them to go to this site. Maybe they didn't expect this setup. And above all, they just couldn't get rid of the roamers. They spent 2 minutes 30 seconds trying to clear the top floor without even doing it because Bandit was still there. So with only 30 seconds left, they started their office push. And when you push with only 30 seconds left, there's you're way too stressed to do it the right way. And they just get killed off when they try to go into the blue bar. They just opened up here with Tibana, went in here and got shot by Pulse straight through that hole. So, what was the key for playing Ducks in this defensive setup that got them to win? I would say it's three things. One, the mirror window combined with the pre-open rotation hole and hole to throw smoke canisters. That was a very powerful setup in making sure they can keep an eye on both the hallway and the site. Two, the heavy roaming game. With three defenders playing away from the objective, Supremacy had to waste a lot of time searching them and trying to clear the top floor. Also, since they used Pulse as a roamer, they got a lot of information on where the attackers were during the round. 3. The nice hole that was open against A from the courtyard, but since they had reinforced three of the four walls, I don't think Supremacy was expecting that hole. They didn't see it, they didn't have time to drone it, I think, because there was some such time pressure. And that's also a good hold because otherwise the attackers can, just as Supremacy did now, breach the inner wall, just go behind the bar counter and use the bar as per cover if anyone is shooting from the other side, just as they had now with the mirror window. But that hold is a perfect counter to that because then you can shoot them when they try to get cover behind the bar. Another thing to learn from this round is don't get on the time pressure just as Supremacy did here. Because if you need to push the objective with all five guys when you have 30 seconds left, you're not gonna have a good time. You need to do it earlier. You need to ramp up your tempo in the attack earlier so you're not forced to do that last second push because then you get sloppy, then you miss, for example, this hole that Pulse was laying in and you're shooting off two of them. So that's an important part to speed up your attack so you don't get on the time pressure like this. That's it for this time. I hope you liked the video and if you did, please leave a like, comment and subscribe here below and I will see you next time.